Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Sonic or Sonic Pro Gaming, whatever the heck you want to call me, and welcome back to another video on the channel where today we are going to be doing something really exciting for today. And if you guys haven't realized lately, obviously, if you guys don't know, I, I if you were on my channel yesterday, you guys would know that I was live streaming yesterday for the launch of UEFN, aka Creative 2.0. And as you can see on my screen, guys, it's finally out. And a lot of you guys that have been using UEFM so far seem to be pretty frustrated and overwhelmed, but don't worry because Sonic Pro Gaming has got you covered. Today, we're going to be making a beginner's guide on how to use UEFN. I'm going to be teaching you the basics on how to use UEFN, and yeah, let's pretty much get into this. But obviously, you know, if you want to see more content like this, then make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button on today's video, and comment down any thoughts you have on today's video as I'm always active in the comments comment section below but anyways enough of that stupid intro let's let's get right into it so as you can see guys it created this nice beautiful island right here and you guys are probably wondering how to actually navigate when it comes to UEFN so it's pretty self-explanatory for anyone who has used Roblox Studio like I have it's pretty much AWSD to move and a lot of you guys are wondering how to move faster if you use the scroll wheel then you'll be able to actually move a little bit faster which is something I'd like to prefer to do since I do not like moving pretty slow when making these projects. Now a lot of you guys are probably wanting to know how do you publish your projects. You can see if you press project all of this stuff will be here for you. You can see publish project is right there so when you want to publish your first creation you just click that and then your island will be published to the creator portal. And if you want to add collaborators it's actually going to be right here, but I'm not going to get into that stuff yet because, you know, a lot of you guys are still wanting to know how to do that stuff, but this is just a beginner's guide. So if we go over here, you can see we, pre we pretty much have full manipulation of the island. I mean, we can literally move the island. We can move it all the way up. You can see the terrain changes. You can also select the water, I believe. Let me see if you can. Uh, yeah, God, that actually causes a lot of lag, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, we have a lot, we have full manipulation of the island. So now, this is going to be the big thing that a lot of you guys want to know when it comes to UEFN, and that is how do you import custom models? Now, when it comes to UEFN, you have full access to importing whatever the hell you want into UEFM. Make sure it's appropriate though. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys how to add any model you want. So obviously you might need to actually, you might need to actually get this program when it come, uh, it called Blender. I use Blender a lot and this is what you're going to need to, to actually like import your models, do some editing to the models, actually make your models here. I think you can actually make models in UEFM. I'm not too sure yet, but when it comes to Blender, you could do literally everything here and then just converted it over to UEFN. So I got this actually cool looking model and that is, uh, if I can find it, that is. <laughs> I have this Kirby model that I want to actually put into Fortnite. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually open it. Not a lot of the files are blend files. This is just a blend file that I just found online. So you can see we got cute, adorable Kirby. What we're going to do is I'm going to select the mesh of Kirby. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to export, go to .fbx, and then you can name Kirby whatever the heck you want, but also make sure that you have selected objects ticked on. This will actually, you know, only select the, the, the object that you currently have selected in Blender, you name it whatever the heck you want, and then have it as the fbx file now when you have your fbx file this is going to be really important so i want you guys to follow along with me what you guys want to do is go to the content browser and when i would I, what i usually like to do is i like to make like a new folder to store all the textures in the models that i have for the character and then we're just going to call him uh, obviously whatever you want i'm just going to call it kirby what we're going to do is we're going to go to the folder where the model is drag the FPX file that you currently made into UEFN. And then this little pop-up is going to pop up. What I like to do is press import all because this will import literally anything that is in that folder. So it's going to import the textures, the models, everything that you need for the character. So it imports. So we're just going to wait for this importing process to finish. And then you can see 
and it'll show your model right there. But it apparently didn't import the texture, so I don't know what the hell happened. Once the model is in, what you want to do is go to Content Browser, and then we're going to drag the model right there, if I can, and there you go. There's Kirby. He's all white, though. So I'm going to show you really quickly also how to get the textures. Same deal. You just want to find where your textures are located. There are the textures right there. We're going to go to Content Browser, open the folder, drag the texture down here, and then the texture should appear right there. And to apply the texture to the model, all you want to do is really simple. All you want to do is drag the texture and drag it to your model. And there you go. You can see we have Kirby right here. And then I'm going to quickly show you guys how to scale him down. Obviously, you could scale him down normally like this by clicking on the scale tool. And then you, you click this white box to scale like clear like everything down. But I don't like to do it that way. What I like to do is you see on the side where it says scale right here. I like what I like to do is I like to click this lock button because if you have it unlocked, this is what happens. If you select any of the scales on the model, it'll only do it like specific like it's gonna like you can see you could like stretch Kirby as far as you want. You can make him as thin as you want. But I want to like I want to actually scale the model down all, all the, exactly the way it's supposed to be like the normal way. Like so, what I like to do is let's undo on that. Obviously, we're going to click on the lock button and literally whatever you you scale down, it'll scale the entire model. How insane is that? So we can scale Kirby down as small as we want. And there you go. You can see we have a small little adorable Kirby model in Fortnite. So that is really the basics on how to import any model into Fortnite. All right, guys. So now when it comes to the beginner's guide, I'm also going to show you how to import custom sound into Fortnite. Now, obviously, I don't know. I still have a lot to learn when it comes to UEFN. I still don't know how to import videos and stuff. I, I'm sure you guys can probably come up with it if you guys actually work on UEFN. So what you want to do is you want to go and download a song from the internet, whatever song you want. But the limit when it comes to uploading audio is exactly five minutes long. So anything longer than that, you can't upload to UEFN. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a song that we want. Let's see, what song do I want to do? <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Okay, so now that we got the song that we want to actually import into Fortnite, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the URL of the song that we want to do. And then we're going to go to this website that I'm going to be leaving in the description below. This is going to be a YouTube to MP3 um, converter so then what we're going to do is put the url that we copied from the video that we want we're going to press start now and as you can see it'll show undefeatable right there and then what we want to do is we want to go to audio and then we want to go and download a wave format of the mp3 song that we want unfortunately when i was actually trying to upload audio to uefn i realized that you cannot do mp3 files it has to be a wave format so what we're going to do is we're going to download the wave format song that we want we're just going to wait for it to finish and yep it's done so then we're going to go to uefn same process we're going to go to content drawer let's just drag it in on kirby's file let's go and find it real quick uh, there's the song right there. We're going to go into here and we are going to okay Hold on. We're going to go and click and drag the song into UEFM right here You can see you can see that it pops up right here. You can actually play the song so Right there it plays the song like normal now what we want to do is we want to actually put in a you know, music device or whatever it's called. We're going to go to Fortnite, go to devices. Let's go and right there. So this is the the like the music player device that's been added recently. We are going to let's just move it up right now. And then what you guys want to do, this is really important. You want to go down to where it shows audio. Then what you want to do is click this little arrow right here. 
and then what we're going to do is you're going to see undefeatable right there but if you don't see your song just search the name of the song and it will pop up so if i search undefeatable you can see it pops up right there we're going to click on it right there and now the song is actually inside of the audio player we're going to actually launch session obviously it's going to say you're going to need to save your progress so that way the song actually plays in fortnite so we're going to press save and then we're going to wait for fortnite to launch and you guys will hear that the music is actually applied to the game so you can see there is our model it looks really good actually has no collision if you guys actually want to learn how to put collision on it i actually was able to figure it out so maybe i'll do it in a separate video since i don't want this video to be too long but as you can see here's the radio the or the audio player device you can see when you actually open it it'll show the song right there so then when we press ok and we play it by i'm gonna actually gonna turn it up actually really quickly so we're just gonna turn it up by 2.25 and then when we actually hit it But yeah, that's pretty much really the, the basic understanding of UEFN. As long as you guys keep playing around with the program, I'm sure there will be new things that you'll find when it comes to actually learning UEFN because that's pretty much what we did. We actually opened up the program. We actually worked together to find new things and that's what we're going to do. A lot of you guys are going to be very overwhelmed with Creative 2.0, but as time goes on, we are going to be learning together and that's what's going to make 2.0 incredible and fun for all of us but anyways guys i'm gonna wrap up this video here i'll see you guys all in the next video and remember guys don't be a pro be a sonic pro see you all in the next video goodbye